Welcome to the second lesson of use case analysis. In this lesson, we will form a use case diagram with actors and use cases identified from Texel analysis. This is Visual Paradigm, with the Texel analysis editor opened. Inside the editor, there is a problem statement and the list of actors and use cases identified from the problem statement. If you want to know about how to make use of textual analysis in identifying these actors and use cases, go check lesson 1. In this lesson, we will form a use case diagram with these actors and use cases. Let's begin. First of all, select the actors and use cases. Right-click on the selection and select Create Model Elements from the pop-up menu. I'm asked if I want to visualize the selected actors and use cases. Three options are provided. The first option is to visualize the selection in a new diagram. The second option is to visualize in an existing diagram. The third option is not to visualize, which means just to create model elements without visualizing them on any diagrams. I want to create a new use case diagram for these actors and use cases, so I keep the first option selected. I will give the diagram a name Starfish 2.0 Use Case Model. I keep Use Case Diagram as the type of diagram to create. Click Create. This creates a new use case diagram with all the actors and use cases presented. I just spend a minute to tidy up the diagram. I'm going to draw association in between the actors and use cases. Association, or sometimes called a communication links, represents the existence of interaction between actor and use case. A patron will borrow books through the system, so I create an association between patron and the use case borrow books. He will also return books and reserve books. He will also update his profile, search books, download ebooks, and extend loan. Librarian and other actor will use the cataloging function like add book and delete book. Librarian will also assist patron in borrowing books. I just create an association between librarian and borrow books. Librarian will also assist patron in returning books. So I just create another association between librarian and the use case return books. Student and teacher are kinds of patron. I can represent this relationship with a generalization connector. Alright, I've finished forming the use case diagram from the actors and use cases identified from textual analysis. This is only an initial use case model, and I will touch up this diagram in coming lessons. This is the end of lesson 2. See you in lesson 3. Goodbye.